we see yes. them themselves yes. more and more. Sometimes we stop the game and the, 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 the lays get up on the water on the surface and say, yes, I know what you mean. Ah, okay. Yeah. So we said something. Because I had the experience, we did uh, recordings with our team and uh, I was telling some of my guys, you do this and that all the time, why do you do it? And they said, no, I don't. They saw the video and they, oh, you're right, I did. Okay, in this sense, yes, but if you want to have systems, you want to have the, the people in a certain position, then you have to, to explain it at the moment. Because okay, they, have, they have yes. always... I, had a, I have one, one player uh, uh, in, the, in the national cadre which always forget to uh, go down. Ah, really? Yes. And th there's one action and then she goes on the surface. It's a very nice action. And then they take a break. And she watch the game. Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. We, we yes. should forget that that's one of the biggest mistakes. You are intent to watch the game because you are in the game. But at the moment when you watch the game, you are out of the game. Yes. Yeah, the, the, the people swimming on the surface are not playing in the water. It's the same as they're sitting on a bench. Happens to me too, I know. And, exactly. and, and we really, I mean, have tried the two system. We first recorded and then took time to look at the game. And then you did not, you didn't remember the situation. Why did you handle yes. it? And so we decided that you, I mean, you decided as a trainer oh, to stop of and, of and do it. Of course, if to have just in a combination, it would be even much better. That means you have but a video recording and stopping this at immediately then you can review this. Yeah. But then uh, you must imagine if you have a one day training camp, you spend uh, whatever, two hours games filming. Yeah. And uh, especially when they, they, they're in a competition, they want to be member of the national team, they, they're making mistakes. So there, there is some, some, some risk there uh, um, also uh, from this point of view and they are under pressure or something like that. Uh, I, there are players which are under pressure not good, and there are players uh, uh, under pressure you know, makes them more effective. Yeah, yeah, more effective. Even better, yeah. And they, they cannot motivate them. Before the next game starts, with Zurich, is Zurich uh, Switzerland against Turkey. There is one more question we cannot answer it now, but how do you translate this knowledge um, not to the high elite training you do with the, with the women, but to the pools, uh, normal pools like my team? That's difficult. And let's answer this question in the next break. Okay, here we go. It's Ege against uh, Zurich. Um, this will be a heavy game for Zurich. Um, Ege yeah. has to show they can uh, uh, compete in this uh, in this uh, Champions Cup 2016 here in Berlin and think they uh, will try to uh, make an example uh, of uh, the pure might of uh, Ege uh, here against Zurich. But uh, still, um, it's uh, always an honor to play against teams like Ege, even though if you know uh, it will be tough. Okay, we are already at the basket of uh, Suri Suri is playing in white, uh, Suri Switzerland playing in white, and Eki from Turkey is playing uh, in blue, and Eki is putting hot pressure in all directions on the uh, basket. There was a nice passing just on, on the back around the basket from the close to the open side, and uh, still attacking, and uh, I have to say Switzerland is... Uh, uh, quite good in defending right now the the constant attack and pressure yeah they're holding really good I mean that's the question how long they're going to to keep up with the with the rhythm of Eger because they are so much more physical the Turks really yes. play yes. full contact and the, if you see them out of the water even uh, in out of the water they're intimidating if you see them move like this uh, in in the, in the water it's even uh, worse so I love the game of the Turkish uh, team. It's, Sudet, it's yeah. Sudet, sorry, uh, lost uh, earlier this morning. It was the first game at 8 o'clock. They lost 8-0 against Flipper. And Ege lost 1-0 against Flipper yesterday. So, yes. uh, but they, w they are the same level of uh, like Flipper. I mean, if a little bit less, but um, with the difference uh, in, the, in the experience of the both teams, it should be for Ege almost the score and let's see how ex how tired the Zurich team is from the uh, the game this morning and also the fact uh, that they had to be very early in the morning um, here even though yesterday they didn't have any games but you know already second game of the day you start getting into your under your skin I mean yes absolutely if you have the first day uh, first game of the day and you lose high and uh, are punched and grounded um, it's it's really difficult to keep the spirits up 
and uh, especially if you know the next game will be tough too. But right here, Switzerland is doing a great job defending, uh, even though Ege goes back and forth in and out of the defense of Switzerland. Now from the close side again, pushing really hard. And these are not probing attacks. They really try to score. They go in with a lot of uh, physical uh, contact, a lot of physical push into... Um, the, the defense of Switzerland, but uh, the Swiss even uh, manage now, like you see here, to get control of the ball, and now it gets uh, dangerous for them because the, they have to open up their defense if they want to go forward and counter-attack, and that's the part where a smart and fast team like Ege usually uh, goes in for the kill. And here it is, uh, Ege already recovered the ball and is uh, starting again uh, its attack on uh, uh, the Swiss basket. But it's, uh, um, I'm, I'm a little bit astonished they haven't scored yet, and uh, it's definitely part of the very good uh, Swiss defense, and uh, it seems like they are meditated uh, and put their minds onto it, defend uh, whatever costs. I'm really impressed by Zürich. They're doing a great job Absolutely. defending. Uh, I mean, really, really, really good. It's uh, almost four minutes into the first half. And considering that Ega is quite a strong team, um, what Tudic is, 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 is playing here and showing here, it's, it's also really, really good. I mean, they, they don't give up. They, they uh, keep up the fight. And they know Ega is a stronger team, but uh, that doesn't get into their heads. And that's, yeah, that's it so doesn't important. look like, yeah. It's uh, impressive, uh, not only from the fitness, physical fitness uh, point of view, but the mental uh, stability Siri shows here, uh, how they, they fight against, uh, in my opinion, superior um, um, opponent, but they, they are uh, almost five minutes in the first half, and uh, Ege didn't score, and even uh, Siri uh, goes out and snatches away, intercepts a pass, from again now three of uh, four of Zurich go for wow. uh, uh, a counter attack and they are even made it uh, uh, with and all the three of them to the basket of Ege and put them under pressure. Yes, yes, a really uh, great job. I mean, I thought at this point that Zurich would be just defending more or less, but uh, they're having a better control of the ball. Um, Ege still has 70% uh, of ball control, but when Zurich has it, then also tries to achieve, and, and they are very consequent, and uh, they are showing a different game than what they show earlier today against Flipper. You could see them a little bit lost, they were too static, and they were not really swimming a lot, and uh, this has, it looked like they, it changed a little bit, it changed a little bit, and that's m it's making the whole difference, because I think even Ege is quite surprised that they haven't scored yet. Yes, I uh, think so too, I totally agree with you. Um, Ege is used uh, with, with these strong players like Tarkan and Hakan, uh, they're used uh, to, to, well, go in and, and, uh, and score. And uh, I think they, they counted on uh, uh, controlling the game more than we see he right here, because uh, Zurich is attacking. And uh, even though um, it's, it's, uh, they, I don't know if they have a chance to score, but Look at this Swiss player. He's on the surface waiting um, for 20 seconds. Ah, there was a free throw. Sorry, didn't see it. I was just guessing uh, wha what's happening there. But it was a free throw against Ege. That was the, that's because he was waiting. <coughs> Still 0-0, zero, zero, and the first half is two-thirds gone. And Zurich is in possession of the ball and free throw for them. What happened? He moved a little bit. Let's see. Free throw for Zurich. Um, and um, I'll be back in the game in a second. Let's see. They repeat. Do a pass, but uh, he got stuck because one of the Ege players tried to sh um, get the ball away from the player of Switzerland. There's some referee call. Um, 
And it's a free throw for Switzerland again. And let's see if they can take advantage of this. I mean, now the, the, the swimmer is a bit fr freer in, in a cut, trying to keep the ball moving, but there's no one to really pass it. But uh, because of the Eger players, it became in between. Um, they are doing also quite good forechecking, fighting a lot in the middle of the pool to stop the counterattack so that the Eger uh, players don't completely go through without any kind of... Um, um, I'm missing the English word <laughs> without any 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 kind of, of um, 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 obstacle. And uh, let's see now uh, we're still in the middle, but getting closer to the Swedish uh, basket. Eger really, I think it's getting anxious as and, and <laughs> a little bit frustrated that they're not being able to to score. They are moving the ball around right and left very fast. Um, Zurich is still really putting up with that pressure and trying to keep the attackers away. The forechecking is working well. Now they have them uh, about three or four meters away. Eger is coming with two men to attack. The defender is trying to hold the uh, attacker. The um, next defender comes in and is trying to help their playmate. The goal is now uh, still in position. The next defender, the ball fails and the defender of Zurich just got it and tried to start a counter-attack. It's two players of Zurich doing the counter-attack and three, four of Egger and there was almost the ball inside the basket of Egger. Um, it's really very, very interest, interesting match. I didn't expect this from Switzerland after what I've seen this morning uh, with um, Flipper. So, Grey match, 0-0. Zero, zero. Uh, still, Eger is a little bit more in possession of ball and a little bit more in control. And uh, stressing the Swiss team a little bit more. But that does not mean that they will win. Uh, if Swiss, the, the Swiss team can keep up with, with these attacks and with the waves, um, that on the long run is difficult, but that doesn't mean that they're not able to do it. We have had these kind of surprises in the Champions Cup before. Then um, they will go to penalties. And um, we are now in the middle of the pool. S uh, Switzerland is trying to swim away toward uh, Ege basket. They are fighting in the middle. And uh, the Swiss are still in possession of the ball, a little bit um, too much in the surface, uh, probably trying to catch a breath after so much defending at the basket. That can be quite exhausting. It's quite a fast pace. And now we have a three minutes break until the second half starts. Zero, zero. I wouldn't have thought that it was going to be uh, these results uh, after the first half. I really thought that by this time Ege would have already achieved probably three goals or something like this. Um, let's um, let's see. Um, trying to see how many players. I think Switzerland was with 14. And Ege has a, a more physical uh, game. And um, the thing is, if Switzerland can mm, put up with this kind of stress and strength and speed another 10 minutes because uh, you could see that they were playing at the very limit I mean and they were uh, struggling sometimes they were still being able to keep up and defend but uh, they were uh, struggling and uh, they were not really having fun and uh, Great job, great job. But the question here is, how long can they stay? Uh, withstand. Withstand yeah. Yeah. this kind of pressure from Eger. And Eger is getting... The thing here is, if Switzerland has absolutely nothing to lose, and Eger wants completely to win. I mean, I, I believe that Switzerland knew that this might... I think that they concentrated on defending, because they knew they might not be able to win. So they said, Let, let's concentrate on defending, and then let's see what happens. This is what I think from what I'm seeing, because they are being so Please, much yeah. better defending <coughs> than what they did to Flipper. And um, so um, I lost what I was going to say. 
<laughs> the, the, the thing is, Ege has to win to and prove, Ege, exactly. and Suri the, just the, the want will wants to survive. Exactly, the mind, the mind game here, and uh, because this Switzerland has absolutely nothing to lose, and the, the, the what they are doing is really working, uh, and and Ege is getting frustrating because how can it be that it's taking this long for them to um, to score to score because they were the clearly uh, favorite team. And if that gets into your head and you are over, want to overachieve and then you forget the, the, the team game and then you start doing, you know, um, these um, attacks and, and, and each player is like a little bit frustrated and, and keep, I mean, lose the concentration, then maybe it would be possible for Zurich to finish the, the game 0-0 until the penalties. But it's a, it, it it from this point on, it's a mind, mm -hmm. I mean... Mind game. Mind game more than in other, uh, in other games right now. I'm, I'm, <coughs> I'm curious um, because the, the teams will talk and Zurich will be quite confident uh, about what they achieved. And uh, Ege um, with Tarkan, Tarkan will tell his team uh, this cannot go on like this, we have to score. So I'm curious what will change, what, what change we will see in the second half here in this game. I'm totally surprised uh, to have a 0-0 after the first half and kudos to uh, the Zurich game. They can be super confident and uh, happy of what they achieved. Um, and I'm curious well, what we will see now. I think <coughs> Ege uh, will go in with much more uh, might and force than uh, we've seen before. All right, here we go. Uh, second half here in the game, Ege in blue from Turkey against Surrey, Switzerland in white. And it's 0-0 zero, zero after the first half, quite a surprise. And uh, we even see Surrey attacking the, oh, there was a, there was a heavy grip around the throat uh, to stop this attacker. And uh, uh, I, I would have a referee, if I would have seen it, I would have uh, made a call and a free throw against. But it's the beginning of the game, maybe they check out uh, the development. So we have a counter attack now from Ege to the Swiss basket. And uh, let's see if they can succeed. But here we go, it, it, it even Zurich uh, uh, manages to, to try open the, the attack, get the ball and uh, fl go free, but not for long, uh, two meters away from the basket, uh, Ege recovers the ball and goes back in attack mode. But it's really good defense work we see here from Switzerland and they are not intimidated by Ege at all. I, I think the, what I like uh, on Ege is uh, the early forechecking. So they, they did not leave the, the Zurich the chance to really uh, swim get through, the pool. Uh, yeah. Yeah, swim yeah. through the pool. So they are direct. And that is what, what I think it's, uh, it's uh, very obviously, uh, it seems a very constant uh, defense and uh, early attack uh, on forechecking uh, how it should be. So. Uh, And they they go on the on the ball, not on the on the on the person. So now Ege has the ball, and uh, now Ege has the ball. Goes in front. So there's two player under the goalkeeper, and on from the open side. So now there's with two guys under the under the goal. So. I think Ege should c uh, concentrate to have uh, clear uh, passes uh, around the goal. This would help them uh, for for controlling. Not uh, the what's good thing is they try to keep the ball down and not uh, try to cut in the position over the goalkeeper because there's always a defense guy and it's easy to grab him and put it on the surface like now. Uh, the, the only way of defense and uh, make it luster and keep the the, the, the ball uh, away from the goal. Uh, ah, so Ege try to keep the ball open, place uh, strong attacks and always uh, someone below the goal. So this was a goal. Yes, 1-0 for Ege.
So let's see how it continues. Uh, six and a half uh, minutes to go. And uh, impressive is Eggers directly attack on the ball in the in the four checking. So this uh, uh, disables uh, uh, the Zurich team uh, to have really a strong offense or a chance in the offense. Also, the, the, they keep the ball really down on the bottom of the pool. That force uh, Zürich always to go down. Uh, now they have the, the in the middle the attack. Keep the ball and they came directly close and good passing around the goal. But but the, but the interesting thing is they don't succeed. They don't score. It's it's really uh, now now this is the definite two yeah, two okay. zero. Ah, it's, it's two already. already they already, it's scored. already two. Oh, okay. So they're okay. now controlling that, that, that the offense game uh, much better, and, uh, and the balls around the uh, goal is played very, very straight, and um, <coughs> this gives them the advantage. So Zurich has nothing to yeah to against to, uh, to, to put against yeah. uh, to stop them. But yeah. they did quite well um, until now, and I think uh, the the Turkish team they they. Uh, saw the, t the game too and um, uh, they were in the game and they know they, they had to change something to score against the Swiss because uh, it was really nice uh, defending from the Swiss team and I uh, think uh, Ege was a little bit surprised by it. So 2-0, uh, okay, um, that's uh, um, that is expected, a little bit surprising that it's uh, not more and uh, Ege really has to uh, uh, think about uh, the, the, the way they play here in the Champions Cup uh, because uh, um, Zurich is not one of the strongest team they will face. Uh. Mm. Uh. Yeah, good morning, uh, hello Swiss, uh, hello Jan, you're back in the uh, 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 chat. Yeah, good Swiss play, I agree totally. So um, here we are, Egg is... Uh and what, what I also like, when they get uh, attacked, uh, the Egg players, they try to keep the ball open. So yeah. that someone can uh, take the ball or something. They, they avoid the clustering and... Uh, exactly. And huh, interesting. Good pass. <laughs> in in nowhere, but nevertheless. No, but actually in the, in the position where the where no one is. No yes, defender. exactly, exactly, that's true. So that is, uh, you force your own people to go down there. And it was invisible for the Swiss players. It was yes. behind his back, so and it was uh, again, almost safe. Again, the very strong attack around the goal. I, I don't think uh, Ege plays, uh, even in the first half, uh, did anything uh, wrong exactly, but uh, the, the Swiss are, uh, uh, they, they found the key to interrupt uh, the attack play of Ege and even we see here after a very heavy attacking uh, time period uh, the Zurich players still succeed in uh, recovering and securing the ball for them going forward and uh, uh, working inch by inch in direction of the Ege basket. Now we have a counter attack by Ege. One player against two. There is just a defender, no goalkeeper. And here we go. There is the ball inside excellent, the excellent basket. Excellent play, smart. The goalkeeper sit in front of the, the goal. That was a mistake. Fast, concentrated. And uh, uh, the, the attacker from Ege, he did uh, a turn of the body. So it looked like he would attack the goalkeeper in front of the basket. But uh, actually, he made a turn and just uh, reached over his head and put the ball into the basket. Very nice playing. This so looks, uh, the defense looks a little bit old school. <laughs> yeah, it definitely is old school. It definitely is. Yes, we have these. Uh, we have some of these old school players that just sit in front of the basket and kick everything away that comes <laughs> into their vicinity. And you tell them, tell them times over times again, it's not allowed to kick. So again, we see a counter attack from uh, uh, Ege here, and uh, they go forward. And even if they are hold, they they try to keep the ball open and uh, keep it free to to be able to pass to the next and there is always a next player coming down 
Um, maybe again needs a, 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 a more uh, uh, more of a challenge to to show its uh, real uh, capabilities. Probably. <laughs> mm, I I think uh, of course you you grow with with your, your the challenge your, with yeah the challenge, but what is, what is they control the ball that is uh, they do I think true. That's what um, they keep it open. There are no clusters. They keep it on the bottom. No? And of course, it's uh, two minutes to go. They lead with 3 0. So <laughs> it's okay. Uh, but no? a little bit more concentration. Some passes are not good. But most of the time, uh, they, they, they are good. And they don't attack the body, they attack the ball. Really? And that yeah, that yeah, is yeah, a it's big, it's big advantage. And that's what, what we explained earlier. That is, uh, they have always a middle position. There's someone, uh, the good pass on the goal. Mm, and nice. Exact, nice. Exactly. So it was fast, yeah. straight passes around the goal, continuously taking the room. And that is like uh, like uh, Untavasa rugby should look yeah, like. Yeah, and it's not. It's without thinking. They don't hesitate. They they act. They know where they are. They know where their uh, teammates are. And it's just blind passing the ball down. And it's in exactly the right it's spot. It's what Lorena said. It's a body language. Uh, yes. They, they say, yes. I want to pass the ball in this position, and then someone comes. Yeah, because they and know it will go. It will. Yeah. The ball will go in this direction. Yeah, and it's it's this game. It's uh, it's it's physical, but it's quite dynamic because they are really try to keep the ball open and as more open the ball is as fast as the game uh, so and more successful it's 40 seconds left and I think uh, this game is decided um, um, Jörg, I'd like to talk about uh, Turkish uh, underwater rugby, I don't know how much you know about it, uh, but you, I think you, you heard a lot about mm -hmm. it and there is a lot about uh, talk about it. I think uh, what I like about uh, the style Ege plays and what I saw in the uh, one uh, uh, U120, uh, 21, um, they can play physically, they, they're really uh, strong, they play fast, they play open, so they put together what is good in rugby and uh, put it with top players. And it's, I have the feeling, uh, um, uh, Turkey is a young underwater rugby nation. Um, and there is, that's just the beginning, because this, what we see right here is the first generation. This is the first generation underwater rugby from Turkey. So what Tarkan told me, they're working now with uh, U15. Uh, we played against them in the uh, German uh, youth championships. And uh, there comes another generation who grow up with this style of playing. I, I think they're doing, uh, when you see how many teams they brought to the Open German uh, Youth Championships. Exactly. And also the, the good result on the European Championship for the juniors, uh, I have to say respect for the, this uh, work, what they did in a relatively short time. So uh, that is really impressive and uh, you have to watch out. So you have to watch out uh, um, I, if this, they, they have the same pattern in the, in the women teams or something like that, they will come quite fast, quite close to the elite uh, teams but and I, th I heard they had eight teams in the women league Is yes yeah, it's at least 80 teams that as far as i know yes so that, that means they have a very big base and that's it yes